Okay, so. This is like the backside of Hyrule. And you see that tower in the distance? That's Ganon's tower. Like, that's the final part of the game. We're not even at the middle of the game yet. But we have access to this area. And if we could reach the loading zone way over there, then you could just simply enter Ganon's tower. But basically, there's this barrier. This thing right here. It's stopping you. It's actually quite a strong barrier. It goes all the way up. And it's a cylinder encircling the entire castle. Anywhere outside of the cylinder, I get infinite knockback. There's a glitch you can do where you pull the Wind Waker on the same frame that your damage and vulnerability ends. I've canceled taking damage. I still can't walk forward even though I'm past the barrier. Now why is that? There's actually an invisible wall in addition to the damage barrier. The invisible wall reaches all the way up. It reaches pretty far down, although it does end. If I started on the entire other end of the castle and did a zombie hover and I mashed frame perfectly, I wouldn't even get close to clearing this thing. So now another thing is, it turns out you can actually get on this ledge over here if you do a bunch of crazy stuff. So some people are saying, well, now that we're on this ledge, let's just like ledge clip through the thing. Like, like cancel a knockback and then like ledge clip through the invisible wall. Well, it turns out you can't grab this ledge, so you can't ledge clip. Another thing that was thought of is let's die and then right as Link's about to stand up, get pushed off the ledge by a bomb, fall down and then do a zombie hover under the barrier and then enter the loading zone. And that you can do that, but you still can't get past the barrier. If there was a door in Hyrule, if there was a door anywhere, you could get storage store the door and then you could just walk right through the barrier but there's no door so you can't do that therefore there is no way to cross this barrier and get to Ganon's castle without actually breaking it so yeah if you ever find a way past that it would be the holy grail <laughs> in the speedrunning community time is everything the Hyrule Barrier Skip has been so notorious because it's been unsolved for almost 10 years. This trick theoretically could save up to two hours in a five hour speedrun. The amount of time saved would change this speedrun forever, which is why many people who wanted this trick to be found have pulled together a $1,200 bounty for anyone able to figure it out. Barrier skip has always kind of been a meme in the community. It was never able to really be performed well in SD uh, without like cheat codes or whatever. And I think I may have actually found something, so I'll uh, hold on and we'll test out the Wind Waker glitch. Uh, shit. And then on HD, when item sliding was found, everyone has tried it and it was not possible. Barrier skip has been found. It is August 16th. Um, I, I just hope that people like believe me on this. This is not a joke. You can see an indents right there. You can clip through that. That's how I got through. Uh, Girtana, he uploaded like a video of behind a bear and everyone was like, oh, it's just fake, whatever. And then someone was able to recreate it on stream. Uh, and that's the famous, I did it. What? Guys, I did it. I did it! I did it! I did it! I did it! I did bird skip! I love the reaction. Yeah. yeah. They're like freaking out. It was only like four people have gotten it, and it's so many hours spent in it. It's not consistent, and after it was done, uh, Dragonbane uh, put a lot of effort into soft modding when it came to Wind Waker HD and TP HD. What the goal is is for someone to recreate bird skip again uh, with those inputs being recorded. Today, April 10th, 2017, a consistent setup has finally been discovered for Barrier Skip. You have to first get knocked back once, pull out the Wind Waker on the very last frame, 
um, of Link's flashing animation, just like this. All right, so now you're past the damage barrier. That was the easy part. I get into this corner right here. Uh, Link needs to have an angle between 48,307 and 48,319 for this to work. You're gonna wanna tilt the uh, camera all the way up. Obviously, you're not allowed to use a data viewer while you're speed running the game. So if I can see that yellow line just on the edge of the screen, uh, then I know that I'm most likely at an angle where barrier skip will work. So forward, he says down, forward, L. All right, so now Link is just kind of cruising along and eventually, if your angle's right, you'll go through. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the first ever Wind Waker HD speedrun to be completed with Barrier Skip. Also, it was an All Dungeons run, because All Dungeons is the hot new category in the Wind Waker HD. So yeah, because Barrier Skip now exists, uh, any percent is unfortunately not very good anymore. Because literally 99 out of 100 uh, any percent attempts that people do will not make it to the end. Normally the game requires that you use the hookshot to access the loading zone to the Ganon fight. However, the hookshot would take around an hour to go and get, so instead we do this fairy hover. The hovering technique we use is known as zombie hovering, and it allows Link to hover forward and up off the ground while his health is at zero by repeatedly jump attacking. And using this, we can easily get to the loading zone to the Ganon fight. However, the problem is Link is dead, and loading zones don't activate while Link is dead. So instead, what we have to do is we have to bring over two pots, each which contain a fairy. We have to break those pots before the hover begins, and then we have to hover up to the platform and just hope that one of the fairies will That's fly good. up and heal Link. Otherwise, the trick fails. This could be hot. <laughs> no! 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 No, dude! Come on! Come on! No one has been able to get the zombie over inner run yet. Right now, I'm just gonna switch to hero mode because it takes double damage. So I can take my damage really quickly. If we use like a fire arrow, we can be like, this run is on fire. Oh, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> yes! Oh my god! Oh, yes! yes! This is it! We can't die! No, you can't turn off hero mode. I got it second try, why did I use hero mode? Oh my god, Nate! No! I held the shield! Nay, nay, I'll believe it, nay. Nay. Hope you guys are all excited to lose a run after Puppet Ganon. If this doesn't make it, then I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And here we go. You have got to be fucking kidding me. What? 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 Alright, well that's cool. Goodbye any percent. May you die in agony. The speed required to clip through the barrier is anywhere between 35 and 6,000 units of speed, and currently the original version cannot quite reach this range, falling just short at a maximum of 32 units. But yes, there it is ladies and gentlemen, barrier skip is indeed real. Though, so, the first and only time I will ever say this, but fuck this wall, seriously. <laughs>